My name is Mission Dupal. My art is basically abstract. I just did shapes and colors, that's really it. Some artists that I'm inspired by is Moreau, Paul Klee, Hilma Afklint, and also my sister too. I don't think that abstract art is not really shown enough, so kind of just expressing myself and who I really am. I want them to kind of be blown away by the colors and that it's not something normal that you usually see. So I'm in high school, obviously, and you don't really get to see that a lot. So being a teenager and having your art up is kind of important, so yeah. I was inspired by my friend, Mishna. Um, she was also influenced by um, Helmaya Clint. And so I decided to draw her for my project different type of art which, where you mix like uh, self-portrait with abstract. You, re you don't really like see that kind of a mix, so I want them to like see something different. First time that my piece is like displayed in like an exhibition, so that's really important to me. And, you know, I feel uh, proud of myself for being part of this. Well, this piece is um, from a photo shoot that happened in school that my friend Mariah did. And it's based off this garment here, which is the corset that another friend of mine did. I really liked the shoot that we did, so I decided to paint it. I mean, there were a couple that I was really struggling to paint, but I decided to do this one because I kind of wanted it to be asymmetric and have like some empty space at the top. And I thought that maybe the, this is a stocking here, that it would cause some tension. It would be really nice for the viewer. Personally, I like Jean-Michel Basquiat, and I also am very inspired by my father. He is a sculptor, which is why there's also clay here, because I thought I would add a little bit of him into the painting of mine. But I like a lot of pieces with color and things that pop, so stuff that really gets the attention. First I sketched it out on the canvas, and then I proceeded to add clay. I slowly built it up on the canvas, and I used, I didn't really use any tools for sculpting, I mainly used my fingers. After that, I put a clear uh, coat of paint over it, so I can harden and get a kind of plasticky feel to it. And then afterwards, I did the background, added blue, this is oil painting, so I started with all the blue first. And I would say the kind of last thing I did when I got all the colors down is that if you look very closely, there's green and blue, I mean, sorry, green and orange in the painting because I wanted some complement, complementary colors to pop. Her artwork was inspired by um, William, Adolf William Bruguero, a French artist who emphasized the female body and he was very classical, so. Well, my concentration in school um, was contortionism, but at the same time, so I, w I wanted to mix that to, with something very classical because I really like classical paintings and artists, such as William, and, and I tried to merge that together with my concentration, which was contortionism. And I guess I just merged them to create this piece right here. All of my work in high school throughout the year, this is the one who really emphasized what I did throughout, what I was going for in the first place. I couldn't, I couldn't quite made up my mind throughout high school of what I wanted to do until this piece came out um, that I wanted to mix. Um, something very unusual, which is contortionism. First, I did the sketch. Um, in a piece of paper and then I kind of create this pedestal in a paper to um, sketch it into the big canvas and I think that was pretty much it. I, I put the, the, the tones, the values in the paper too and then from there I just, I, I was guided by the, by the values of the body in the paper 
to put in them here. We planned this exhibition for about a year. So I thought it, I had an exhibition here last year, so I thought it'd be a good idea to then have my students. I basically asked my freshmen and some of my seniors if they wanted to contribute, and they contributed to some of the work that you see here. I wanted to showcase, you know, a, a space for them to think about, you know, what the artist feels, the audience feels about their work, and I thought it'd be a good idea to use this space for that. The seniors work on what they call uh, concentration, which means they pick one area, one thing that they like, and then they do about a couple, couple paintings, maybe like, you know, usually like 24, like 12 concentration and some drawings, but basically 24 total. You can see a series if you look at a, a body of their work in school, but here they just have one piece. So, for example, when Shani was talking about contortion, she did like 27 small little sketches and then if they want they can expand them make them bigger I thought it'd be good to have the community see the work especially young students are going to be here in the summer to see the work of their peers and be inspired and perhaps start creating artwork of their own so it's important again as I mentioned earlier just using the space as a conduit for them to um, be inspired and create their own work You know, I mentioned this before um, to my students, you want to have confidence that you can do whatever it is that you feel like doing despite the color of your skin. Just have, know that whatever you do, you have a voice and everybody has a voice. So I wanted everyone here to, to display their voice and I would definitely say just believe in yourself, you know, have confidence that you can do whatever you want to do despite who you are. And there's an audience that they'll listen. If, if you put your, your work out there, even social media is like, you know, it doesn't matter who you are, they'll, they'll look at your work and just be honest and be authentic. And if you are, then people will notice, as long as you're honest and authentic.